All right, guys, welcome to my knife show where it's everything blades from pocket knives to swords to daggers to katanas and everything in between. I told you I had a special episode coming out. I, I started the series with a bang. You just saw my Hercules, a.k.a. The Beast. This is that other one that I was telling you about that I bought at the same time from the same dealer. This is my pride and joy of my collection. I have a massive, massive collection. This is the one that I'm so, I, I get real excited about when I show my collection off to people that come over the house. I save this one for last. I'm giving you guys an early, early peek at this. This is called the Gold Cobra. Check this out. This is another massive, massive blade, a katana. Talk about craftsmanship and, and, and the art of work, like I was saying with the Hercules sword. Nah, this is another level. This was very, very expensive. Um, I was able to work a deal out only because I bought a lot from this guy. Um... And this is one of my favorite of my collection. I, I mean, I know I say this about a lot of my stuff, seriously, especially the recent stuff that I've been buying. This is near and dear to me because I remember I, I, I was, as I was, I was a kid, I was very young at the time because I've been collecting forever and I saved up for months to buy this. And um, this is rare. I remember getting the authenticity, a certificate with it. And the guy was telling me about how they were made and where they came from and how he got it. And it's just freaking beautiful. There's really no other, other word to explain. The case, the sheath is, is real. I mean, it's got freaking art, artwork on it. Look at this. Just where the blade goes into. Ooh, look at that. I'm taking my time video on this because I want you guys to see if you have to pause and just just look at this. I mean, what <laughs> what goes into detail like this does? I don't know. I mean, I've never I've never seen quite like it. And let me tell you something: I own a lot of pieces, and. Um, this is what I call a showstopper. You know, like I was saying in the other video, when I saw that Hercules sword, that was it, I couldn't walk out with it. That was this. And I remember the guy had put it aside for me. You know, today if I went there, man, I'd freaking buy how many they ever had. If they had more than one, shoot. I'm actually gonna take it, the blade out and show you guys. Woo! Yeah, so this would be actually classified as a katana, which I have tons of, but, you know, usually they have like the hand-woven handles, you know what I mean? But this one's a little different. This one is, again, it's a showpiece. I mean, come on, you know, I mean, the blade is stunning and I take care of all my stuff. And e this is the kind of sword where even when I sh when I have it, you know, displayed, I have the uh, case on it. So, but if people come over and they want to see it, I let them check it out. You know, I let them I let them hold it and whatnot, and they feel like a badass. Something like fucking Game of Thrones or something. <laughs> but um. I don't know. This is exactly the reason why I got into this hobby for stuff like this. I mean, I got all the plain stuff and tactical knives and pocket knives and simple blades and usable blades and boring common blades, you know. But this is the stuff that makes you stop and say, oh, man, I want to get into this hobby. I've gotten a lot of people into this hobby just coming over my house and looking at, you know, an inkling of my collection because it would take hours. But this is one that I show them, and they say, oh, I get it now. You know, this stuff's cool. You know, they're thinking freaking pocket knife, kitchen knives, you know? They don't, they don't know the detail of what's in some of these pieces. I mean, I got buoys, katanas, but this is a showstopper. I like it. And the quality of these, even though these are 
you know, display pieces. They're made well. There's nothing cheap about them. And uh, I'm happy to own it. The Cobra, the gold Cobra. I'm not talking about Limp Bizkit either. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, guys. I'm going to slither on out of here. <laughs> Until the next episode of Sean's Knife Show, I will see you guys again soon. See ya!